How's it going, everyone? This is Trainer Connor. We are here with two battle spot videos today. Just a little bit of a small change of pace there. But these were actually matches that I had when I was in school. I finished a math test, and we had a, a weird schedule in a couple of days there where we had two hour classes and so when I was done with the math test I hopped online and I just wanted to try out some Pokemon there in the battle spot of course. So we're gonna try out Mega Pinsir in these two matches. We have my first opponent starting out with a potentially a Mega Swampert or a just a regular old Swampert. So I start out with my Mega Pinsir. Go with Sword Stance. He goes for Earthquake. That actually worked out pretty well because now I have my Mega Pinsir speed and plus two in attack. So he's forced to switch out or he has Ice Punch. He goes with Lachios and I actually hit that. And you see, I just don't have my return maxed out. If it was maxed out in power, then I would have KO'd the Lachios most likely. But I have X Scissor. This is a weird X Scissor return Sword Stance and Stone Edge set of a pincer there. I have to rebreed it so I can have access to quick attack some, I guess. I don't know. He goes with a waterfall, I would imagine. Something like that. And you just you see how bulky my mega pincer I put a little bit of defense EVs in there. Unfortunately my opponent is packing a mega subtile and I'm still going to be faster and that's going to seal up this match right here. So that was a clean 3-0 battle right there. That was a quick match. I didn't get a chance to use my Wiggly Tough or my Infernape. So that was a nice little, little match there. My second opponent here, we have two matches here. Like I said, and we're going to be facing some Ubers here. So we have to face Solomon Rayquaza, who could go Mega. And what was the other Pokemon? Deoxys. Okay. Now, uh, Salomon, so he has Intimidate. He could go Mega or he could have a Lumberry. I'm still going to go with a Sword Stance here with my Mega Pinsir. So that, or actually, I'm going to go for Stone Edge because I, yeah, that, that was kind of weird. I, I, why would I want to do that when he has Intimidate? That didn't make sense. So instead of that, I go with Stone Edge actually. He misses a Draco Meteor that kind of sucks for him because I don't know how much I would have done and expecting a, another Draco Meteor. I go into Wigglytuff, that could have been a very risky play. Here, I actually expect other Quaza to come in. So I go with a Charge Beam, but I miss. That kind of sucks, but now I'm forced to go with a Dazzling Gleam because I know he could go with a Dazzle, or uh, no with a Dragon's Ascent, excuse me. And that's going to clean out that Rayquaza, so that's great. He brings a Deoxys Nets, and it's in speed form too, so it's not very defensive by all means. He has Psycho Boost, and that's actually really great, because if he goes for that, he could have a the item that will replace that drop, or he does not, so I'm feeling very comfortable here. He goes with another Psycho Boost, and each time he goes for it, his special attack is lowered a little bit there. And I feel comfortable here because I go with a couple of Sword Stands, actually. Now, I could have attacked him when he goes for a Hyper Beam at minus two, and uh, yeah, I could have just attacked him right there, but I just got a little bit too greedy here, and that's going to come into play here because I should have attacked him with an X Scissor or a Return or a Stone Edge. He ends up getting a critical hit right here. That was pretty funny. And I was like, no! And then the whole class was like, what's going on? I'm like, you know, I'm battling and I got critical hit. <laughs> so that was pretty funny at the time. I go into my choice band of Iron Fist and Fernape going for a fire punch. And interestingly, Deoxys lives. I thought he had no defense. I knew he had defense and defensive form, but no, not apparently in speed form. He might have some defense EVs, which is not a bad idea, but why do that? But it kind of came into play there. Unfortunately, he still has Salamence. I was like, let's see how much a fire punch would do. And I'm like, 
Okay, this is going to come really close because I have 12 HP. Can this fire punch KO the Salamence? I probably got max damage here and that kind of saved me right there. That match came down to the wire there. If I had minimum damage, I would have lost this match. So, those were two awesome matches where I got a sweep from Mega Pinsir in the first match and then I kind of had an epic, you know, epic match where I kind of got critical hit and yeah, that kind of just sucked right there. But those were excellent matches. So, that's the end of that video here. Battle spot videos are awesome. I might do more of these in the future. We'll see about that. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later with another upload coming here soon. Alrighty, hope you all enjoyed. Goodbye now.